，欢迎回来。美国总统特朗普即将迎来执政百日，民调显示特朗普尽管支持率不高，但在其支持者中地位依然稳固。特朗普上任以来，中美元首就重大问题保持密切的沟通协调。特朗普三次与习近平通话，在对华经贸关系上态度反转，那怎么来看待接下来的中美经贸关系走向？来看本周的陈征专访。走进美国权力中心，对话各界意见领袖，直播港澳台陈征专访，深度。成就高度。四月二十九日将是美国总统特朗普上任后的执政百日。特朗普百日新政表现如何？中美经贸关系如何更进一步？今天和我一起探讨的是美国战略与国际研究中心费和中国研究项目高级研究员雷鸣。他目前为在美投资运营的中国企业提供有关政策监管的策略建议。此前，雷鸣在美国贸易代表办公室工作八年，曾任美国助理贸易代表以及中国贸易事务首席顾问。As a former USTR official, what's your overall comment about President Trump's pre- performance in the first 100 days? Uncertainty is not something that businesses like. Businesses like clarity and predictability,、mm-hmm. and so there's really a question about what Trump has done in the first hundred days. So,、mm-hmm. with regard to China, for example,、mm-hmm. he raised the question whether the One China policy would、mm-hmm. remain in effect for China,、mm-hmm. and he made other comments in other contexts that were very、um, dis- potentially disruptive. Mm. But in the second period of time,、uh, as exemplified, for example, by the decision on currency manipulation and some other, the hundred days of negotiations that President Xi and President Trump agreed to、mm. in Florida, there are some indications that maybe the approach is not trade war,、mm. but perhaps trade frictions. Mm-hmm. And maybe trade enhancement.、Mm-hmm. That would certainly be better. But、sure. we really don't know. You just mentioned the currency manipulations. The U.S. Treasury Department Sima Annual Exchange Rate Report released on April 14 did not list any countries as currency manipulators. What exactly does the monetary list mean? This is a new idea, and I think it's a signal that the Trump administration wants to be clear. That they will not、uh, be lenient with a country that has a huge bilateral trade deficit with、mm. the United、uh, sorry trade surplus with、mm. the United States, and the reason for that is that、uh, I think there are some in the United States who believe that that trade surplus that China has with the U.S. may in part be because its markets are not open to. Us the way our markets are open to Chinese,、mm-hmm. on the one hand, and that its economy has not been、uh, opened so that the services sector and consumers can spend more in China.、Mm-hmm. Sure. So if they can, if those issues can be fixed, that would be very positive. You just mentioned the BIT. We know the BIT negotiations haunted in the last few months due to the U.S. presidential transitions. So, from your point of view, what's the key to restarting the BIT negotiation? I think that、um, the major concerns for U.S. policymakers、uh, in the past, and they may very well be consistent now, are that. China needs to continue to open its markets,、mm-hmm. and China needs to rebalance its economy so that there is more consumption,、mm-hmm. uh, and that means that consumers need to have in China need to have more money in their pockets,、mm-hmm. as opposed to the money going to、uh, big state-owned enterprises or others. And so,、uh, I think those changes would be very helpful.、Mm-hmm. Opening markets. And and changing towards giving、mm. Chinese consumers safety net and more money in their pockets would be very helpful for the、mm. for the bit.